Hey guys, it's Dimes, and do you want to make money? Do you want to live in the high life? Do you want to be in the top 1%? Well, if so, then you've come to the right place. Here is my guide on how to get rich. Step 1. Don't do your taxes. Step 2. Step 3. M&M's Cart Racing. The M&M's, don't you just love them? Pop culture icons. You know, I didn't think little candy circles could get this far, but damn, they proved me wrong. And whenever you have a pop culture icon, you want to maximize profit to the max. And what better way to do that than through video games? It's been done before. Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, Mary-Kate and Ashley, everyone's had their chance at video games. I mean, it's simple. You take something popular, you shove it into a generic video game, and boom, millions of dollars. More people should do this. I've been waiting for Marlboro Kart and it has yet to be announced. That's a money-making opportunity right there. M&M's, however, are a weird situation. They've had multiple games be released, more than some major series. I want to get to the bottom of this. Why are M&M's games so popular? So I'm going to take a look at five of the M&M's games and really see what the hype is all about. Kicking things off, we have M&M's The Lost Formulas, released for PC and Mac in the year 2000. The game starts off with the red and yellow M&M's going on a vacation, but right before they're about to leave, they find out that the M&M's minis took control of the candy factory and now are screwing everything up. You take control of the yellow M&M and for our first mission, you gotta race across the city. And I mean, right out of the gate, it's not horrible, it's kind of fun driving around as a big M&M. You gotta hit these boxes which give you more M&Ms to collect, honestly not a bad experience, however, it's a very long one. After 5 minutes of doing the same driving, it got really boring, and it never stopped. This game doesn't tell you what to do in order to beat the level, so I was just driving around with no purpose for no reason, and after like 10 minutes, I called it quits. Now I guess the game has a lot to do with math, and as you advance throughout it you have to answer more and more complex math problems, but the game never got past this simple driving portion for me, so I honestly couldn't tell you how the math goes. Now the Lost Formulas did have another version released for the PlayStation titled Eminem's Shellshocked. It does follow the same story, however removes the math part and changes up the gameplay to be a little bit more like Crash Bandicoot. I don't have it, I don't feel like emulating it, and I don't feel like buying it, so... If platformers aren't your thing, then Eminem's Mini Madness has got you covered. It's another platformer. Released in 2000 for the Game Boy Color, this game follows the Eminem's trying to save a factory after all the computer systems fail, and now you gotta solve puzzles and avoid the enemies to bring everything back. And playing this game, it's... it's not good. Everything in it just feels so utterly slow. Just trying to jump from platform to platform takes an eternity. I ended up getting stuck on this jumping bag thing, whatever, majiggy. I quit after that. Eminem's Blast, finally something that isn't a platformer, released for the Game Boy Advance in 2001. It's pretty much a Mario Party clone, where you go around a board and have to play various minigames from time to time. I mean, the minigames aren't horrible, and the game itself isn't that bad, but when you're playing a party game alone, well, it kinda just gets sad and boring. But hey, if you want to play an M&M's puzzle game, well they got you covered! M&M's Break'em, released in 2007 for the GBA and DS. And I mean, it's definitely an M&M's puzzle game. Man, what the hell is going on? I thought these games were supposed to be good, not bad. Well, I have one more game to play, one that could turn things around. M&M's Kart Racing. Released for the Wii in 2008, this game includes some amazing maps such as the factory, the beach, and the streets. But finally, it's time to start a race. It's time to get into M&M's kart racing. Go! This game is one of the worst experiences I have ever had. First of all, it's so janky. The controls of this game are absolutely horrible, which is surprising because this is a Wii game. It's not that hard to mess this up. The maps aren't good, the carts aren't good, and this whole thing is just not good. M&M's took advantage of unknowing customers by taking their money for horrible games. 
None of these games seem like they had any real effort put into them. They all just seem like quick cash grabs to get rich. But hey, speaking about getting rich, I completed the first three steps of my own getting rich program. Now let's see how much I made. It turned out to be a scam?